the farmers produce okay so this is uh, this is uh, this law is regarding the farmers produce that is in regarding trade and commerce okay so it is basically this law is regarding marketing of farmers produce or agricultural produce and from the law itself it is create it, it is clear that it will promote and facilitate the trade and commerce of farmers produce okay so the farmers produce trade and commerce promotion facilitation act 2020 is one of the most important law to transform the agricultural sector so the primary aim of this law is to this is one important point you have to write if a question has been asked and it see this topic is mentioned in your syllabus there is a topic called marketing of agricultural produce okay so now if a question on marketing of agricultural produce question has been asked okay, you have to mention about this particular law okay so <clears throat> so basic most important point of this uh, why this law have been enacted is that we already discussed that currently the agricultural marketing in India, before this law, agricultural marketing in India is regulated by the each respective state APMC laws. So, every except few states, each state is having a separate APMC law which says that the farmers can sell their produce only to their designated APMC Monday. Okay, so the state APMC law restrict the farmer's choice to sell their produce. They don't have the freedom of choice where to sell their produce. They can only sell to that respective APMC Monday. And because of this state APMC laws, okay, even though the aim of the state APMC law is to uh, protect the farmer as well as get the farmer a better price but over a period of time it has it has not created or it has not uh, gener it has not created sufficient income for the farmer because of the the rigidity or because of the uh, uh, lack of reforms happening in the apmc markets Okay, and the most important problem with this state APMC law is that farmers are restricted. They are cannot sell their produce outside the APMC Monday. So the freedom of choice to sell their agricultural produce is less. And since the farmers don't have any option, and also we already discussed that since there is trade cartel due to less number of traders in each APMC Mondays, these traders form a cartel and the price is not is not benefiting the farmers so all have created the one of the one of the major reason for the farmers to have lower income is the current state apmc loss so the basic aim of this particular law that is the farmers produce trade and commerce promotion facilitation act is to break this monopoly power of the apmc market so what this law says that okay so currently try to understand that agricultural farmer each agricultural farmer is currently have to sell their produce to an apmc market or apmc mandi but and the problem with this apmc mandi is that there are many fees like market fee uh, commission charges etc plus they are not allowed to sell outside this apmc mandi but this now this this new law allows this now see the state apmc law is asking the farmer to sell the produce only to this apmc mandi but the central law now allows the farmer both intra state keywords okay it allows this new law allows intra state and interstate trade of farmers produce not only the farmers can trade their uh, produce agricultural produce outside the agricultural mandi or apmc mandi they can also sell it outside the state also that is what is the meaning of okay so intra state within the state or interstate outside the state beyond the physical premises of apmc market okay 
so the this law has defined a term what is called as trade area so trade area this word is be very clear okay trade area is mentioned in this law so trade area is an area outside the apmc mandi or any markets currently regulated by the state apmc law okay so the one most important feature of this act is that it allows the farmers freedom not only to for interstate trade not only intrastate trade but also interstate trade outside the physical premises of apmc market or apmc mandi so this point you have to write if a question has been asked then currently i told you the apmc mandi charges many fees like uh, uh, market fees cess uh, commission charges etc okay so state governments so uh, this new law states that this new law states that currently state government is levying many charges like uh, cess market fee etc but now under the new law they are allowed to sell outside the apmc mandi we call it as trade area so the, this law says the central law says that the state governments are prohibited from levying any market fee the state governments are prohibited from levying any market fee cess or levy outside the apmc area so if the farm now the farmers can sell the produce outside the apmc area and if they sell the state can state government cannot impose any market fee cess or any levy okay this is mentioned in this central law okay now the problem here is so it means that so basically so it in these trade area what will happen is there will be private markets will come up so in this trade area primer private markets will come up along with the existing apmc markets now by having more than one market to sell okay earlier what is the problem with the farmer the farmer can only sell to this apmc market now the farmers have the option either to sell to apmc market or to sell to this private market which will be created under the new central law okay so it is allowing the uh, it is giving a farmer the freedom of choice where to sell their produce if the farmer is getting a better price here in this market they can sell it here if they are getting Uh, the farmer is getting a better price in apmc mandi they can sell it here so there are a lot of controversies associated with this particular law so we are not going into that we are first dealing with the features of the law we will see the advantages and we will see the disadvantages or criticism against this law okay now so there have been so, so many misunderstanding about this law okay so first be very clear what is this law is all about okay so the this law is giving an option to the, to the farmer where to sell freedom is of, of choice is to the farmer they have this option either to sell to the apmc market or the apmc mandi or to the new private market which will be set up under the trade area which will be free from the this trade area which will be created under the central law where the private markets will be there is free from the state apmc laws okay so this will result in competition and a better price for the farmers agricultural produce and also this law permits electronic trading okay see we are here we the uh, few years back the central government have introduced an electronic trading platform what is called as enam enam what this enam will try to do is it's an electronic trading platform for agricultural produce this enam try to link all the agricultural mandis but even after 3 or 4 years or more than that enam had could not able to connect almost all the mandis in india only very few mandis nearly around 500 apmc mandis have been connected under the enam and not all the products is traded in the enam because of this existing problem related with the apmc state apmcs okay but the electronic trading platform which we are talking here is in relation to this private market this trade area where new private markets will come okay so it permits electronic trading of 
scheduled farmers produce okay so this scheduled farmers produce is nothing but the farmers produce which is currently regulated by the state apmc okay so now in this specified trade area in this specified trade area electronic trading for all the agricultural produce including the produce which has been traded in the apmc mandi is allowed okay so this is another feature of this uh, uh, this law that it allows electronic trading of agricultural produce in this private trade area in this private markets of this trade area trade how see it, it is upon to the private sector to decide okay they can create as many trade areas as possible in a state okay so another feature allowing electronic trading don't confuse this electronic trading with ena maybe in the future this electronic trading platform can be integrated with the ena S similarly okay e even in the electronic trading platform also even in the electronic trading platform in this trade area the state government is prohibited from charging any market fee or cess on farmers traders in this electronic in this outside trade area okay so the three vital point regarding this law is that first the farmers now have the freedom of choice to sell their agricultural produce outside the apmc mandi not only they have the freedom to sell not only within the state it also they have also have the choice to sell outside the state second is that this outside trade area which is outside the apmc mandi area the state government cannot impose any market fee or cess etc similarly to this trade area in this trade area which is outside apmc mandi the state government cannot impose no, sorry uh, they say, okay, cannot impose market fee that we discussed electronic trading is allowed so electronic trading no market fee cess or levy by the state government in this trade area and freedom of choice for the farmer to sell their produce outside the apmc mandi okay so these are the features of this particular law now so if a question asked about this particular you can tell all these features now what are the advantages what are the advantages so normally in mains question they ask okay what are the pros and cons of a particular law so if they ask for the advantages or the pros of this particular law you can say that okay already we have discussed now farmers are allowed to sell their produce outside apmc market and this creates competition so competition results in better pricing better price for farmers produce so a better price for agricultural produce is one of the advantage due to competition created by this new private markets in the trade area then it also creates an electronic or e highway so it is not only creating an e highway or electronic e highway for trading and transaction but it's also creating a structure so it is a new structure is been created a new structure is been created for e trading of agricultural produce here you can add one point okay the basic aim of this law is to create one nation one market one nation one market for the agricultural produce so one of the basic aim of this law over a period of time is is to have a one single market for the agricultural produce okay so this this new electronic platform which has been envisaged can help in creating one uh, market for the agricultural produce it also provides the buyer okay now we are talking from the buyer's perspective the freedom to buy farmers produce outside the apmc markets without having any license or paying any fee to apmc okay now uh, in the case of apmc mandi see apmc the buyer cannot directly buy this is another problem with the apmc mandi a buyer imagine a food processor 
a food processing company want to buy some agricultural produce they cannot buy directly from the farmer from the apmc mandi they can do it only through a a middleman trader okay so and this trader require a license so any agency or any buyer if they want to buy directly they require a license without any license they cannot buy any product directly buy so what they always depend is on a middleman or a trader but now this new law is now allowing the buyer to directly buy <coughs> to directly buy without any having any license or not they need not to pay any fee earlier if they are buying they have to pay fee market fee now no fee they have they now if they are buying outside the apmc mandi we call it as trade area if they are buying from the private market which is created in the trade area they need not to pay any fee plus they don't require any licenses okay so that is so buyers is also benefiting uh, from this new law further for the farmer okay so since these private markets will take time to create okay this see one important point you should note down is that this law is not abolishing apmc mandi it is this law is creating new private markets for agricultural produce so that there will be competition now in this new created private markets farm what is the price prevailing in the apmc mandi can be used as a benchmark for the farmers when they when they when a particular commodity is traded in this particular private market okay so for for farmers selling their produce outside the apmc market okay for farmers selling their produce outside the apmc market the prices prevailing in apmc market can serve as a benchmark price helping in farmers to have a better price discovery for the for their produce in this particular private market or in this particular trade area okay then this law will also help in i told you one nation one market okay freely movement okay farm produce can now move freely from surplus to de deficit region okay we know that in india some regions especially if you look into northwestern region okay punjab haryana western up they are food surplus region but there are many food deficit regions are there okay so with the with this new law there will be so since this new law is removing the restrictions of freedom of trade for agricultural produce so farm produce can move freely from the surplus to deficit food surplus to food deficit regions okay so this will help in attaining food security finally consumers gets better and cheaper products i told you this new law is reducing the middleman okay so by reducing the middleman farmers is getting better price as well as consumer will have to pay only lesser price so this law is a win win situation both for the farmer as well as the consumer producer as well as the consumer now so these are the advantages now regarding the disadvantage or some criticism related with this law okay one of the criticism of this law is that okay this law was enacted without proper consultation with the state government okay it was done in a hurry so mostly uh, uh, the states punjab haryana okay punjab haryana and in western up uh, this farmers protest is high why in punjab and haryana the protest is high means compared to any other states in punjab and haryana apmc markets is functioning in a better way okay so why there is lesser noises from the other states compared to punjab and haryana is that in punjab and haryana there is more uh, connection between the farmers okay in punjab and haryana in punjab and haryana farmers are benefited from the state apmc markets there is within their 5 to 6 km radius there are uh, apmc mandis are there they have having a better physical infrastructure so punjab and haryana farmers have benefited 
from the uh, state APMCs, but this is a central law. Okay, so so the since uh, these states were not consulted uh, before the introduction of this central law, it has created a panic. It has created a panic among the farmers, which they feel that okay, this central law might result in might result in uh, this closure of APMC markets. But we know that this, there is no provision regarding closure of APMC markets. The basic aim of this law is to have a, a parallel markets or to create competition. Okay, so that is one important point. Okay, but when we look into the other states, other states, this law will benefit the farmers of other states. Even though the uh, the farmers in Punjab and Haryana, they will also benefit. Because now they are getting, even though they are not that much affected, they are now getting an option to sell their produce. Okay. So one criticism is regarding the concern. What will happen to the existing APMC Mondays? Okay. Another issue is regarding the market fee abolition. In the, in the central law, state government cannot impose, the state government cannot impose any market fee or any cess outside the trade area. So states like Punjab and Haryana which is now getting around 6 to 8 percentage respectively 6 to 8 percentage of fee being collected. Uh, so they will so Punjab and Haryana will their revenue state revenue will get affected. Okay. So here one option what the central government can do is that they can either compensate the state government for the next five years like in the case of the, how the when the GST was introduced, okay. So, so uh, if what will happen is that if this private market, if in the private market there is no market fee, but here there is market fee and other related charges are there. So, what will happen over a period of time? Farmers will sell their produce here only. So, either in this APMC Monday there should not be in future the state government should not be charging any market fee or the central government have to compensate them because we require both these market to coexist then not only there will be competition will be there because APMC market is very vital because they most of the see the, the food procurement under PDS is will be still be continued under APMC Mondays only okay so that so the regarding the revenue loss regarding the revenue loss for the state government how to be amicable be settled that is not mentioned in this particular law this is one criticism okay so other than these this uh, then there is a criticism regarding MSP but nowhere say it is farmers believes that okay the MSP will be abolished uh, over a period of time but nowhere in this law the government is uh, talking about minimum support price okay so the minimum support price will coexist will continue with this new central law so msp means the central government will for 23 crops will announce a minimum price a minimum guaranteed price so the farmers will get that okay so there is no concern even though they fear over a period of time the msp may be abolished so that these are the few concerns related with these central laws but as uh, agriculture when you write a conclusion okay when you write the conclusion on these type of questions okay try to understand that okay this is a very important reform taken up by the central government this law has many good ideas but many laws many schemes have failed due to poor implementation for example, take the case of Operation Green. Operation Green is basically aimed at a, uh, improving the production as well as removing restrictions of three uh, agricultural products uh, like tomato, onion, potato. But due to lack of implementation, it has not been successful. Okay, But it, that should not happen in the case of this central law. And since agriculture is a state subject, these reforms has to be implemented by the 
state government, there has to be a proper coordination between the central government and state government. So, without the center state proper support, this law will not realize its true potential. So, through cooperative federalism, through cooperative federalism, as well as through competitive federalism, where different states will compete. Okay, here one some experts have suggested that, like in the case of ease of doing business for industry, we should have ease of doing business. The central government should come up with a a new ease of do, ease of doing business ranking for agricultural produce for okay and state the central government should rank the states based on where the farmers in for farming community ease of doing business is better so basically by ranking different states based on how easily you can do business for agricultural products it will result in competitive federalism okay so this central law to benefit the farmers that is to if the central government and the state government wishes to double the farmers income there has to be a closer working there should, there should be closer cooperation there has to be there should be synergy between the central government and state government otherwise this law will not able to realize its true potential and that is happening now okay so now there is lot of uh, you can see that okay Punjab have come up with uh, law state laws to uh, as and recently Rajasthan have come with their state laws to nullify this central legislature. So that is not a good sign. So what we require is the central government should address the concerns of the respective state government as well as the farmers who are protesting. Then only this true reform or this reform which we call it as the 1991 moment for agriculture if that should benefit for if the if, uh, if the country have to benefit from this reform then this central government have to uh, do an extra role in the sense that they should negotiate uh, with the state government and tell them the importance of this law and how it will change the uh, agricultural productivity and how India can become the next export house for agricultural products. Okay, So, this is how we have to end uh, this particular if a question comes on this particular topic. Okay, So, in when you write main answers you have to be very specific. Okay, You have to write very vital points and the answers has to be very neutral. It should be forward looking. It should be optimistic also. Okay, You have to be very careful when you write such controversial uh, topics okay so that is regarding this particular law